Fox 26 News at 9 starts now. And first tonight at 9, a wife remembering her husband killed during a chemical leak at a plant in Laporte. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jonathan Martin. And I'm Caitlin Monty. And Dustin Day and Sean Coolman were contractors at the Lyondale Bissell Chemical Plant, where both died Tuesday after nearly 100,000 pounds of acetic acid was leaked. Fox 26's Matthew Cedar joins us live after talking to Day's wife with her story that you'll see only here on Fox. Matthew. That's right, Caitlin. Tonight, she's very upset, but staying strong as the investigation continues into why this happened. New details from this week's deadly chemical leak in Laporte. Authorities now identifying the two contractors killed, 32-year-old Sean Coolman, a father of two from Arlington, Texas, and Dusty Day, a 36-year-old Army veteran from Davidson, Oklahoma. The world lost a good one, and um, we'll get through it. Jennifer Day, Dusty's wife, for 11 years. He was a proud American. He, was, he loved his family unconditionally. On Tuesday, roughly 100,000 pounds of acidic acid leaked at Lyondell Bissell. Jennifer got the call about her husband's death that night on her birthday. It's not fun at all, but, you know, it is what it is. I guess you just got to take it as it goes, you know, and he wouldn't want um, us to be sad. More than 30 workers exposed to the acid rushed to local hospitals, at least one now suing the chemical plant. Duty is on the company to keep it safe because the workers are all there 24 seven providing service for the company to make money. You never expect to get a phone call that your husband passed away. A couple that's been through a lot recently. June 24th, I just got diagnosed with breast cancer. Jennifer's husband's death right before her chemo was supposed to begin. I was supposed to start on the 28th chemo because I just I wasn't ready to go. So, yeah, that's just something you know else that was thrown at us. Dusty and Sean, both friends, killed in the chemical leak. It makes you realize that life's short. You never know what's going to happen. And just got to be kind. At least one of these workers remains in the hospital tonight. As for Jennifer, if you'd like to help out her family, I have a link on my Facebook page. We're live in Houston tonight. Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26 News.